my name is Prashant. I work on the body visualizer app last year. Hello everyone, my name is Prashant. Um, I worked on the body visualizer app last year, summer for the GSOC program. So basically the app is about the basic idea is of the, of the, the basic idea of the project is about creating a web-based 3D body visualizer which a user can customize according to his measurements. So basically you have a model in front of you and you have a set of sliders which you can just slide to change the body according, according to your needs. Basically uh, it currently supports three models, uh, one for a male body, one for a female and a uh, gender neutral kid's body because uh, uh, mostly it's a kid of 11 year old and we don't have so much features. So I developed a gender neutral body. Uh, currently it features around, uh, around 15 measurements which you can uh, customize according to your uh, needs. I'll show, it, uh, I'll show it to you and then you can get, get, get the better. So basically uh, the current body is like this. I'm just showing you an example of customization. The current body is like this. And then you make some changes and uh, you can change the body, different parts of the body like this. The different parts are just like you can see that there's a difference in the height, there's a difference in the chest of the, uh, of the figures. And this is the base body from this you can get to there or some other different form of the particular body. So following are the measurements which are supported right now. Height, you can modify the height, chest, neck, neck height, shoulder distance, shoulder slope. Bust girth, stomach form, waist, arm length, upper arm girth, wrist, height, hip girth, hip height, and all these. So basically, I use HTML5 and uh, a 3 dot JS library to work with the WebGL because it's really easy to work with that, and it's quite powerful. Too. Like uh, I was really amazed what we can do with this. And uh, for modeling, I use the Blender software. You might have heard about it, Blender 2.0 and uh, make human or make targets to change the body from one form to the other. So basically I use these because HTML5 is the latest one and it's the next, next thing so everyone knows this. 3.js because 3.js is extremely lightweight. If you, if compared to other framework, 3.js is really good uh, in terms of the uh, <coughs> library. And Blender 2.7 because I knew this, so I was not in the mood to learn something new for the project because already so much was on there. So the project development can be split in two parts. One is the visualizing the body, which is the basic thing you can visualize a 3D mesh, and that is that's not, not that's nothing great. The second part, which was challenging, was to convert from one body to another. So basically, uh, we, you have one body and you have to change his arm length or something like that. So that, that is really challenging. Because you don't know how uh, how the other parts of the body will be uh, <coughs> developing to that change, so that part was really uh, tricky. So let me tell you how this thing works. So basically, there is a concept of morph targets. Uh, you have one base body, and you have one final uh, one final uh, shape of that particular body. So say that uh, you have this cube in front of you. Okay. And that is the final thing. The this thing is stretched like this. So now, how the the morph the morph targets work in this way that this is the zeroth position of the uh, mesh, and that is the uh, that is say one uh, of the of that particular mesh. So you can go from zero to one in any. Uh, you can like you can go to point two. You can go to point three, and that will be the intermediate stage of that particular thing. So suppose I have to increase the arm length, and I have a limit of arm length for say 40 centimeter to 60 centimeter. So I keep the base mesh at 40 centimeter and the final mesh at 60 centimeter. Now if I go to 50 centimeter, I can set the morph target, morph, uh, morph target to 0.5 and then I can reach the 50 centimeter mark. So it works like that. So uh, that's for the technical part. Now let's uh, talk about the scope. Uh, basically the scope is vast. Uh, everything you can do, it's, I was thinking just uh, uh, yesterday I met that uh, uh, people from the 3D printer. So I was thinking like uh, we can develop something where you, on the web on the web you can customize a 3D model and then send it to the printer and it can print over there. So you don't have to worry about the modeling part uh, on the you don't need any software on the uh, on your PC to model something. You can just have a mesh and you can just change it to some other form and then you can just print it off over there. The second thing is that uh, we are sticking to the human model. Why just stick to the human model? We can have birds, we can have animals, we can have 
uh, we can have transforms anything we can have over there and we can just transform it to some other thing. Third thing is that uh, uh, basically we were doing it for uh, clothing purposes because uh, it was that it was it, it, it was to be used like uh, suppose a person is there he takes his measurement and then he exports the measurement to the tailor and he wants to see his body what does his body like look like in a 3D model so he can just uh, you know. Uh, uh, Put in his measurements in the model, and he, he can see the, what his 3D model, 3D body would look like. So, I thought a little more about it. So, we all have e-commerce. So, we we go online and we buy shirts. Mm -hmm. So, we can apply it over here, over there. So, if you want a customized shirt for you, you can just put it there, and then you can change the body body model according to that, and then the then the, uh, the then the client would just give it, give a shirt which you want. So, it can be used there. Apart from that, uh, I was also thinking like uh, suppose we, uh, uh, in games we need models. So you, if you're if you're playing FIFA and you want a model like you to be in the game, so you can develop the model uh, according to you, uh, according to your measurements. You can change the features of the body and then you can just export the body and just then use in the game. So we can have some features like that, which uh, which is a future scope. I'm not saying that all these features are present, but at present you can modify your 3D body. You can play with it. You can change the every all the measurements which are there. And uh, then you can just uh, export the results to some file. So uh, let me see if I can give you a demo. Three, three minutes.